Good day, brethren. Welcome to RCC Junior Covenant Parish's Open Heavens Daily Devotional. The Open Heavens Daily Devotional is written by Father and the Lord, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Pastor E. A. Deboye. And I pray that as you join me today, God will bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Today, 26th August 2024, we'll be looking at the topic Envy Destroys. Our memory verse is taken from Proverbs chapter 14, verse 30. It says, A sound art is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Our text is taken from Galatians 5, from verses 19 to 21. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. The most dangerous thing about envy is that it opens up the heart to many evil things. Anyone who allows envy into his or her heart is only a few steps away from harboring many other evils. Cain did not have any intention to murder his brother until envy came into his heart. They must have been very close, but the day envy crept into his heart, it opened up the door to the thought of murdering his brother. In Numbers 16, 1-33, Korah and his group rose, up, rose against Moses because they envied his position and were swallowed up by the earth. When you see someone with something you would like to have rather than envy them be happy for them romans 12 verse 15 says rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep if someone is doing better than you in business ministry or whatever don't envy them rejoice with them instead yes you may feel a little envious at first but the danger comes when you allow that envy to linger and grow in your heart for where envy and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work, according to James 3, verse 16. So, it is very dangerous to harbor envy in your heart. Envy is not good for you as a child of God or as a human being. When someone has something that you do not have, you should learn to be happy for other people. It may not be your turn to have that thing. And, you know, possibly that person has even put in some effort and some sacrifices to achieve that thing. Envy is not good for us because envy will lead to many other evils, many other sins. An example that was given to us was that of Cain. Cain and his brother Abel were probably close. But as soon as he envied his brother Abel, that led to the thought of murdering Abel and eventually killed his brother Abel. Korah and, Korah and his group envied Moses' position as the leader of Israel. And they, you know, rose up against him, spoke against him, and they ended up being destroyed because of their rebellion. So envy is not beneficial to anyone. Let us avoid envy. According to the scripture above, that is James 3.16, envy is a partner to strife, and where they exist, there will always be evil. This is why you shouldn't allow any feeling of envy to linger and take root in your heart. The moment you catch yourself feeling envious of a fellow, work on your mind to expel that envy by replacing it with joy. To work on your mind, you can ask God to help you not to feel envious. You can also start praying for that fellow because it will really get the devil angry as it's pointing out things for you to be envious of. But instead of getting envious, you are praying for the fellow. It will stop trying to get you to be envious after that. If you allow envy into your heart, you are opening the door for destruction. Proverbs 14.30 says, A sound that is the life of the flesh, but envy the rottenness of the bones. Guard your heart against the poison called envy. It leads to destruction. So, envy works hand in hand with strife. And strife will lead to confusion and every evil work, according to James 3, verse 6. So the moment you catch yourself feeling envy, yes, we all feel envious, um, a little envious at first. But once you let that envy foster, 
it will lead to fr- strife it will lead to division and it will eventually lead to your destruction the bible says it will lead to rottenness of the bones so let's be very very careful and our father and the lord is giving us a very good suggestion and solution whenever envy is creeping up in our hearts let us instead of envying that um, um, envying other people let us pray for them when we pray for them the devil will get angry and he will not want us to be envious anymore. He will take envious, envy away from us. So let us pray for the people that we might want to start feeling some form of envy towards. Especially those that have what we desire. And as we do that, we will see ourselves overcoming envy. Our prayer point says, Father, please kill every form of envy in my life in Jesus' name. Lord, we ask that every form of envy in our lives... We ask, Lord, that you kill it in the name of Jesus. Let us not be envious people. Let us be people that rejoice in the success of others, that are happy for other people's successes and achievements in Jesus' name. And Lord, let our own time of success and achievement also come in Jesus' name. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we've prayed. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you.